everybody. Thank you for joining me here. We have work to do. My newly named Vanda here is called Leopard Yawn now. I have used my executive powers as the owner of this Vanda and she's called Leopard Yawn. But that's not what we're here for. We have to get this seed pod off as soon as possible because the spike is drying up. So that's what we're gonna do. And before we do that, let's meet Daddy. This is Vanda Denisoniana, dark chocolate star. And Leopard Yawn has a fragrance that is sweeter, more fruity. And Daddy has a more pungent fragrance that reminds me of the water in a vase of cut flowers that's just gone a little bit stale not nasty smelling but you know it's time to change the water that's the fragrance and it's very strong so this is daddy and i hope that what i was trying to achieve is get some of this color into the leopard yawn cross which is laminatum with cristata and maybe get a more deeper petals and sepals red with that striking striking lip that was my plan so in this case daddy is also with a seed pod and has become mommy because leopard yawn was crossed back to this one and maybe see if I can introduce some of the spotting into this one and enhance the fragrance a little bit to make it a little bit more pleasant, let's just say. This is not a bad fragrance, but it could be improved. So this is Daddy, Vanda Denisoniana, Dark Chocolate Star. Okay, so I brought her inside because I need to be sterilizing, etc., etc. And I made a label back in the day when I pollinated her, which was on the 2nd of September, 2019. And I got in touch with several propagation laboratories, one in the UK and I found two in Germany. And they told me that a van der Seed pod should mature for about 12 months. Clearly, that is not the case. Uh, it is now September from last year to June, what, nine months? So, my thinking was to keep it on a little bit longer. But as the spike is drying up, I do not want this seed pod to get compromised and split open before I can, um, how you say, isolate the pod, sterilize it, and put it in a container for when it's ready to be used. As long as the seed pods are in a closed capsule like this, they'll be fine. There won't be any damage done. Once they're open, then that's when you can get into problems. So there's that. Feels rather squishy. I do believe the pod is mature. It could also be that 12 months is normally the norm for big bandas. Either way, this one is going now into a bleach solution, totally submerged. It's all just bleach with water and it's very slippery. I don't know about you, but I find bleach slippery. So in here it goes so that it can be completely sterilized for a few hours. Just label everything once it is settled for a couple of hours. We'll go into this Tupperware and then guess where it's gonna go. It's on its way to the orchid room. I don't want to be jumping to conclusions here. I don't know when the orchid room is able to address seeds and all that stuff, but it is my understanding we've come to the conclusion that this one is not going anywhere else 
but to her. We'll just keep everything in the family. The beauty of doing this when a seed pod is still closed and hasn't cracked open is that there is plenty, plenty of time to address when you want to sow the seed, germinate, etc. It stays in its own capsule, it's as sterile as it's going to get in there. So there's no rush. It can happen in six months, in a year, as long as the capsule is closed, the seeds are fine. Okay, a couple of hours later, here we are. You're all set. And there is nothing more to it than to set her in a nice sterilized Tupperware, let it dry out, close it up, and off to the UK she goes. And let's see what happens. This is another way to propagate orchids. <laughs> Thank you everybody very much for watching. Just a little quick video, but maybe there will be a series. Who knows? We'll leave it up to the owner of this seed pod to do with as she pleases. Take care everybody. Bye.